Hello all and welcome to tonight's beer review which I am dubbing the official I am running out of things to review review. So I'm kind of really running out of things to review. I'm, the bottle shop I go to the most, I've kind of reviewed almost everything they carry regularly. There's probably a few things if I go and do my homework I'll find out that I haven't reviewed but um, you know it, it's really boggling to me that I'm, I'm running out of things to review. And I mean that in the sense of running out of things to review that I can afford. <laughs> so, yeah. This is a cider review tonight. I guess I'm kind of going through Samuel Smith's entire au revoir. Of course, Tadcaster Brewery. And um, this is a little bit warmer than I'd like, just because... It hasn't been sitting in my refrigerator for a while, but I'm hungry. I don't want to wait another 20 minutes for dinner. I want to review now. So let's go ahead and read the back, shall we? Samuel Smith's Organic Cider. A medium dry cider with brilliant straw color, light body, clean apple flavor, and gentle apple blossom finish. Serving suggestions. Cream soups. Salad with vinaigrette dressing. A classic companion to pork dishes. Wonderful to clean the palate after spicy food, yet subtle enough to pair with delicate flavors. Best served at around 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Which is honestly probably about, no, it's, it's going to be a little bit warmer than that once I pour it out. But yeah, in the bottle, it's about that right now. So ingredients, water, organic apple juice, organic cane sugar, Malic acid, yeast, carbon dioxide. Love this backing here. Very informative. So 5.0 ABV. What's interesting is, on the general review sites, this is rated pretty high. It's a fairly common cider uh, in regards to distribution. It's rated pretty high. But when you go and read the reviews on like cider head sites, you know, people are really serious about cider. It's actually kind of middling to low. You know, so it's kind of like the Rotten Tomatoes phenomenon. You know, Rotten Tomatoes, the movie website where critics, you know, critics reviews will be the opposite of what audience reviews are. What is my review going to be? I don't know. I've never had this before. And also, too, I'm not super experienced with ciders. With ciders. So without much further ado, let's just get straight to it, shall we? I'm going to be pouring it into a tulip glass today. course, as it said, straw yellow, brilliantly clear, almost champagne colored, very bubbly. I, I went and wiped this glass beforehand. I'm not sure why it's so clingy in regards to carbonation. Of course, being a cider, the head doesn't stay. Mm. A nice smell of, of course, apples, fermentation, almost bright white wine-like notes. Almost Riesling or an Oak Chardonnay. A tangy, tangy, a very tangy smell. And a hint of sweet florals. And a subtle suggestion of almost honeyed notes. Onto the palette now, shall we? Gentle carbonation up front. Very soft on the palette. A brief flash of tartness in the fronts. A 
the tangy apple note in the mids Not very many wine-like notes on the palate, but the white wine-like note, that light white wine-like note, is really very apparent in the effervescent note up here. Finish is... Fairly sweet. And not very long lasting on the palate. Mildly ticklish on the nose. Just kind of an odd thing there. That's why you kind of see me doing this a lot. It's a little bit ticklish. That just might be me being a little bit hypersensitive, though. Overall, quite soft, quite gentle. The taste, the taste on the palate is primarily of apples, with maybe a slight floral sweetness that comes out in the mid to finish, but it's very slight. And overall, just generally soft. Um, other ciders I've had have definitely had a much more sharper, intense taste. This is very soft, very mellow, very light as well. It's not watery on the palate, but it just feels very light. By no means is there anything really offensive about it. I'm, it's apple cider, you can say that, but there, there's nothing really here that wows you uh, in regards to taste, in regards to you know, texture. I do like that sort of white wine intensity. The nose and the nose and the top note are actually much more interesting than it on the palate. It on the palate is kind of blah. It's apple cider. You can, you know. And what gets me is that I'm having this fairly warm, so it should be a little bit broader than how the ideal tasting temperature says to have it at. I can see why there is this disparity there, though. One, for the common drinker, this is probably going to be an apple cider that pleases. You know, there, there's nothing off about it. It's just enjoyable to drink. But for someone who is an explorer and, and you know, an explorer of flavor profiles, you know, reading some of these, reading some of the, you know, more in-depth reviews. These are like people who go and talk about like various types of cider apples and the notes they have, you know, and complaining that they don't tell say what kind of cider apples are being are being used here in and, and talking about the various specific cider apples of Yorkshire, you know. 
There's a lot of depth there. In as complex as beer or wine or any other alcoholic beverage, really. And it's a world I definitely don't know much about. I enjoy dipping my toe into it. Because cider kind of... It, it, it's very different from beer, but at the same time, it's like beer in that it's not a very heavy or overly alcoholic beverage. You kind of notice I... Had, the bulk of my reviews are of beer because beer is what I usually feel like drinking. I don't feel like drinking hard liquors that often. So what can I say about this? Well, you'll probably not have any trouble finding this apple cider. And... You know, if you're hankering for an apple cider, will this, there's nothing that you can say, well, this is, there's, some, nothing, there's nothing you can say that's bad about this cider. But at the same time, there's nothing that you can say that's really wow about this cider. And I say that as someone who doesn't know much about ciders. Like I said, I'm not, while there were some interesting nose notes there, there on the palate, it was, well, here's apple and apple and in general, nice you know, flavor all around, but not too much complexity. And maybe that's exactly what you're looking for. Like I said, with all these reviews, your mileage may vary. Well, I don't have much more to say about this particular beer. I mean, this particular cider. I probably won't be revisiting it. At about seven, six, seven dollars a bottle here in Hawaii, you know, kind of expensive, especially in this age of soon to be hyperinflation, it feels like. But, um, yeah, I intend to keep on doing reviews as long as it is financially and physically feasible for me to do so. And who knows how long that's going to be. But, yeah, that's your side of review for tonight, folks. Cheers.